Congratulations, Karen Farrell. You are our next semifinalist. Karen, congratulations. You are now a semi-finalist <laughs> in the Tournament of Champions. How are you feeling? Uh, just kind of relieved to be through the, through the first round and see what happens next. It really all came down to final jeopardy. Such a tough choice in the wagering, going for a wild card spot or a win. Tell me about your thought process. Ah, uh, well, that's exactly it. I mean, I liked the amount of money that I had and, you know, just trying to guess what Nabir might do and make sure I had enough money so that I was safe no matter what and just seemed like the right number to me. Well, it worked out. <laughs> do you think you were more nervous for your initial appearance or to come back here for the Tournament of Champions? Oh, honestly, maybe Tournament of Champions. You know, the first time I kind of said, oh, well, if I do badly, I just won't tell anyone I'm on Jeopardy. But <laughs> this time, I don't have that option. Not at all. Now, you had a little over a year to prepare. What was that preparation like for you? Uh, trying to brush up on the topics that I felt a little, a little less prepared for, you know, trying to make sure that I kept up with buzzer practice and, you know, just kept on my toes as much as possible. What does a great semifinal game look like to you? Oh, well, obviously, hopefully I win it, but, you know, I just want to see, good, good, see some good matches, you know, get some good clues and, you know, see what happens from there. You've certainly had a fun journey. Is there anyone you'd like to thank or give a shout out to for getting here today? Oh, absolutely. My husband, Dan, he was the one who kind of pushed me to try out for Jeopardy in the first place, so he gets a lot of credit and then lots of love to our daughter, Elizabeth. Well, congratulations on solidifying that space in the semifinals. We look forward to seeing you play again. Thank you.